I change, I get to you. Man, he's strong. Push it. Oh, I didn't talk enough about answering the telephone. I drop to here. If he answers the telephone, push that over the head. Drop back down. Finish. Last time, you also have your bicep grip. Gino's a pretty big boy, so it's hard for me to reach my biceps because my biceps are so giant. Are you ready? Yep. Go. Yeah, man, you are strong. You are a strong guy, buddy. Push that telephone off. Oh, you trying to go away? <laughs> no, buddy. I've got my biceps now. Keep moving. Keep moving. Oh, this is a little variation, but too okay. bad. Can you get it? Yeah. I was tight. <laughs> I know you were trying, huh? Yeah, I was trying. Yeah, a little variation. I had a little cocked angle on that one, but still good. That was good. Right. Something, but I didn't. <laughs> Screwed up. All the Teach Me Grappling people out there didn't get to see it. It was good. Yeah, I know. Too bad. We'll give him something tonight. Teach me grappling. I got Gino Lee here. This is Gino Daddy, because he brings his kid to class every day. So if you guys are out there and you got this excuse, I can't go to jiu-jitsu class because I got to take care of my kid, just do what Gino Daddy does. He brings the kid in the stroller, and the kid cries and whines in class, <laughs> and I allow it because I'm a nice coach. All right. Just kidding. I love your kid. All right. On your back. All right, guys, we're in this series with the head and arm, the headlock. Um, you guys are going to get here. Uh, I haven't really gone over this that much on, like, entry. So, I'll, again, I'll just, I might have mentioned it on the control video. Um, again, when you guys have basic side control, you know, like, you're looking for this elbow. So, if this elbow's down the mat, don't do the position. But if he starts to push me, you know how, yeah, you're going to see, he should never push with his hand too much. Like he could get hurt. Do you know what I mean? Like if your hands like that, like say like that, and I were to drop yeah, my yeah, hip, yeah, yeah. you know, like so you guys always gotta be careful of that. But he will use his wrist and I can sometimes kick that out and control the arm and then come to the headlock. When you guys go to the headlock, again, the magic is in the grip. If I keep a good grip, he goes towards my back. I, I gain some control. I gather up his head. See how I'm putting weight on him? I scoop up my leg, and then we went over on the past uh, series, how to separate the lock. There's a video on that, how to separate the lock. You can choke the guy, you can shoulder lock him, and then we have our series. You come down here, you rotate to an ice cream cone grip. I try to threaten the elbow lock, I try to threaten the shoulder lock, but before that, I miss it. You see what he just did? In real time, I'll be pushing it down, and. I'll try to scoop it like this, but he'll, he'll bend his arm because it's so strong. You see that? Now, watch this. I'm gonna pass the wrist off to my right hand. Okay, when I do that, I gotta be real careful because when I pass the wrist off to my right hand, one of his maneuvers is to straighten his arm above his head, and now, you see how I lost his head? That would be horrible. Look what's going on here. He's gonna be going towards my back. So, be very careful when you do this. You gotta keep everything controlled. See how my right hand is grabbing my thigh? When I try to do this and it goes there, I grab. If he tries to shoot his arm above his head, I'm not gonna go. I don't let it go. If he shoots it so hard I lose the grip, that's fine. I don't care. But I will not follow his wrist and would, like that. That would be stupid. I would, get, I would lose my position. But let's say he just pulls it in like that. A lot of guys will do that. You can hold on to the sucker. Now, you might think of another submission. There are many submissions here, guys. There's people out there with like crazy funky stuff, okay? Some people will try to do like an Americana style stuff. I don't think it's very good. You can try to push the wrist in the mat. You can do the wrist lock. I don't think that's very good personally. You got the old uh, Q bone for those guys who are super old school uh, on the underground. I believe it was Quincy Rice with the Q bone. You got the fist right in the, the eye socket or the nose. All of that is cool, but not needed. You guys need to do what I'm about to do. The arm triangle, okay? Tried and true, you need the arm triangle. So once I pass this off, instead of trying to grip here, 
I'm going to push his arm across his face as much as I can. Now, I've still got his wrist, so I have to control the situation. I got to make sure he stays on his back. If he, first I'll talk about, say he's turning towards me. If he's turning towards me, I push off my feet and I turn him on his side a little bit. I'm sorry about that, Gino. I'm nice and heavy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that's when he's turning towards me. If I, if I push like this, turn towards me, see? I do that so I can adjust and put my head here. Next, I'm gonna take and pass off this wrist to my left hand, and then we're gonna push it over the face, and I gotta make sure I hold it with my chin and make proper adjustments for the arm triangle. Post on his triceps, relax your body, and make an adjustment, dropping down, okay? As I drop down, again, let's assume he's turning towards me. I've got to have enough pressure off my feet to make sure that he doesn't escape. Escape would be, go ahead, turn towards me. And then he escapes and pull your elbow in. And then now he'll take your back. So it's very important you don't allow that. So you're putting adequate pressure with your legs. Push, adjust. Once you've made a good enough adjustment, now what we're going to do is we're gonna start making our grip and we're gonna start dropping our chest. I am not choking or squeezing at all. I just have pressure with my legs against his body right now. I'm gonna make my grip for you big strong guys out there. Lower your head and then I, I really didn't even squeeze. What I did guys, sorry about that, I dropped my shoulder down, okay? You want your arm butted up against, right? John, you're paying attention over here. See, I want this all like butted up against over here and I want to make it tight. So watch my right shoulder. As I go here, when I drop down, this is without anything and it's already choking up and I still didn't even squeeze. That's because I'm doing this move by tightening it first. Don't squeeze. When you guys squeeze your muscles, you're going to be loose. When, I guarantee you, when you get an arm triangle and this guy's fighting you and you're just squeezing the whole time, you can't make adjustments. It's important that I pull his head right here. You can activate. Yeah. I'm going to bring you back. You can just resist a little. Yeah. I'm going to relax my arms, guys, as I wrap it down. I'm relaxed right now. Now as I drop it down, I still haven't squeezed yet. Now I squeeze. And I get the choke. Now, of course, when it's real, I will not do this without locking my hands. But practicing it without your hands locked teaches you how to be tight. I always recommend you try that. Try to do it without locking your hands. You all right? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. I was just... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're here, we're in the headlock. I was getting to this point. See how he went? I had to pass that wrist off. Why? Because I wanted to do this, but he avoided it. So I give it to my right hand. What do I do if he strains his arm? I let it go as I'm putting pressure. Use my head. Next, I gotta make an adjustment. I got good weight distribution. And he's turning, now try to turn towards me. You see how I'm holding you with my, my legs, really? I post and I drop my head, okay? Once I do that, I get down low, I lock my hands, and I squeeze, okay? And my shoulder drops all the way down. I talked about when he's going into me. If he goes away, you have to pull him. I don't push him as much as I pull him. So sometimes, when you guys get to here, you were trying to fight the wrist and then maybe I pass it off and I do this number and he tries to roll away. If he, if he does, guys, as I'm posting right here, I don't want to make him roll all the way. If this happens, you're going to lose the arm triangle. You might have to exchange a common, uh, is like come into the seatbelt position, try to look for the gift wrap and go to here. This would be like a common response for afterward. Of course, there's fancy stuff. I've shown the, uh, the Jacare. Um, here, it, there's a video on that somewhere, but uh, not talking about it right now. So I get to here, I try to push the wrist, but he goes there, okay? I push, he's going away, so I pull him. I'm keeping him down. See how I'm just controlling him. Keep trying to go that way. I don't want him to. If I have to, I'll put a knee on his belly. I'll hold him, and I've gotta make sure I gather, I relax. See how I maneuvered my right arm? He's still trying to move away. Move. Yeah, I'm just keeping. Notice how my foot is here. My foot is up here, uh, shin across the belt line. So I make sure now 
I'm gonna get to my point where I can get nice and tight. I lock, and then now it's all over. I give it the squeeze, and he's done. Okay? Yeah. Now, you're not out of this situation yet. yet. <laughs> okay, so we're here. I gotta talk about this. Sometimes when you do this, the guy locks his hands. It's the same response. Lock way. your hand. Yes. And now he's trying to frame you. If he tries to frame you, look at, I lift my hip. Okay. Notice I have weight on you. Try to roll me. I can't. Yeah, it's not gonna work, huh? Yeah, I can't. Now look. Little adjustment. One more. Now I'm gonna drop down. I'm gonna see how my leg rotates back. I'm watching. Is he going left or is he going right? I'm staying with him. There's the adjustment. It's time to close the deal. Right there. Pretty tight, Gino? No, sorry. All right. Okay. Do we need a short quick? Yeah. I think we do. What about yeah. the one where you break my grip? Like if I do the escape? Oh, man, you keep asking. Dude, these guys teach me grappling, man. You, gotta, right. you, can't, you can't give them everything. Man, now they're going to be com commenting in the section going, what is he talking about? Now, some of you guys know. Others, look, we'll talk about that stuff in another video. So again, I get the grip separated. Go to the separation video for that. I change, I get to here. Man, he's strong. Push it. Oh, I didn't talk enough about answering the telephone. I drop to here. If he answers the telephone, push that over the head. Drop back down. Finish. Last time, you also have your bicep grip. Gino's pretty big boy, so it's hard for me to reach my biceps because my biceps are so giant. Are you ready? Yep. Go. Yeah, man, you are strong. You are a strong guy, buddy. Push that telephone off. Oh, you trying to go away? <laughs> no, buddy. I've got my biceps now, keep moving. Keep moving. Oh, this is a little variation, but too bad. Can't, can't even get it. Yeah. That was tight. <laughs> I know, you, you were trying, huh? Yeah, I was trying. Yeah, a little variation. I had a little cocked angle on that one, but Still good. That was good. All right. Teach me grappling, guys. Click like, subscribe, if you haven't already. We've got over 65,000 of you out, out there now. Uh, click the link down below at Patreon or PayPal. I always get a few of you guys. Thank you so much. Most of the people on Patreon, I, I really do thank you guys. Most of you guys are contributing between one and two dollars is like the average. It's one and two bucks, the majority of the people out there. Thank you so much for all that do. It really does help me. It's just at this point, I need, if, if for Patreon, I need like basically, if everybody's just gonna do a dollar a month, we need a lot of people to do a dollar a month. And right now I think we've, we're still less than 200. So, um, you know, if you guys can, please contribute. If this video helps you, it's only a buck or two. So do a buck or two. If you can do five, great. So, um, that's all I gotta say about that. We got more on the Headlock series. So check out this series next time. And we're gonna be going over the, uh, the Dean Lister, Josh Barnett situation. We've got the compression choke coming up. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys next time. We're out, later.